All right, so let's start from this side, from the driver's side. We've got the fuse box, the main car battery. We've got the coolant reservoir. We've got the main upper coolant hose, which goes in the engine block. Now back here, we've got the brake fluid reservoir. This round thing is the brake booster. On top here, we've got the air filter box, which I'm going to remove right now to reveal more parts here. This is the mass airflow sensor. This is one positive crankcase ventilation hose. And you've got one more here, which goes and connects to the intake manifold. This is the throttle body. We've got here the manifold absolute pressure sensor. We've got here the electronic AGR valve. This big plastic is the intake manifold, basically an air storage and ready to be released into the cylinders. This one is the main fuel delivery line. It comes from the fuel tank back there. This line here is basically connected to the fuel tank, which takes the gasoline vapors and store them into this evaporative canister. So as you can see, it goes together with the fuel line to the fuel tank. On this car, the computer is under the dashboard and therefore you can see all this wiring harness, which contain all the wires from all the sensors around here. And it delivers the information to the computer. Right here on the brake booster, we've got the vacuum line, which takes the vacuum. As you can see, this hose, it goes through this metal hose and connects back here. It, now back here, you're going to see the oxygen sensors. Okay, this is the upper oxygen sensor. And down there is the second oxygen sensor, which is used basically to diagnose the catalytic converter. Now, if you have a look under here, you can see the manual transmission and you've got that leverage there, which connects with the gear shift inside the cabin. Down there, there are a lot of parts here, but you can see the clutch pedal shaft. It's right there. This is the oxygen sensor connector, the sensor number one. Below here, you're going to see the solenoid for the evaporative system. To this solenoid, you've got two vacuum lines connected. One, it comes from the canister and another one connects back here into the intake manifold. Under the intake manifold, you can see the engine oil filter. And also under the intake manifold, you're going to find the knock sensor, the crankshaft position sensor down there on this side. On top here, you can see the camshaft position sensor. This is the fuel rail, which delivers fuel to the injectors. You've got three of them for three cylinders. This is the coolant temperature sensor. You've got here the alternator which will charge the car battery. You've got here the water pump pulley. Down there the AC compressor pulley and the crankshaft pulley. This is the engine oil dipstick. You've got here the air condition lines. This one has low pressure and this one is with high pressure. It comes pressurized from the compressor. And you've got here the ports. You can fill it up through here if you want to fill up your AC. You've got here the fan in front and the radiator. This is a pressure sensor for the AC fluid. Obviously on top here you've got the coil packs which creates a spark and then it sends it further to the spark plugs inside the cylinder head. Down here you can see this plate. You can open it and get access to the tensioner for the timing chain. This engine has a timing chain. You've got here the ABS pump. And down there you can already see the steering rack. This car has electronic power steering. Back here you've got two coolant hoses. This will deliver warm coolant to the heater blower which is under the dashboard. Obviously you've got as well the exhaust manifold. Down here you've got this cable which is releasing the hood. Down here are connected the front struts okay, on both sides. The windshield wiper motor is under this plastic cover. For example, this connector delivers 12 volt to the alternator. And under the car, you're going to find the oil pressure sensor. It's usually located around the oil pan. The fuel pump is under the back seat. Behind the glove box, you've got the cabin air filter. Here you've got a second fuse box. And here is the OBD2 port. Okay, guys, so that was the presentation of all the components on this car. Hopefully, this is going to be helpful for the beginners. If so, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, take care so I can see you in the next video.